What's up, guys? Welcome to Dante's Rant Room. I'm your host, of course, Dante, talking about Neon Genesis Evangelion, very popular anime. Voice actor Spike Spencer going full blown crazy woke as he compares people who don't get the Kofvax to a very dark time in world history. And not only did he just make that ridiculous comment, he doubles down on it and he looks like a complete and utter fool doing so. Now, let's check this out, what he had to say. Before I do that, do me a favor, hit the red subscribe button, my pop culture news, lots of ranting. And here's a tweet. Uh, he's responding to Deadline Hollywood, in which they said they would start to ban people who don't have the COVID vaccine from um, cinemas and bars and whatnot. And he says, <clears throat> <laughs> Assuming um, facts will wear yellow, the little yellow stars or something. What? Too soon? Yeah. And the guy, well, I guess whoever who retweeted this person was like, please don't do this. Now, this was his failed attempt at being funny. Maybe you should just stick to voice acting and leave the comedy stuff to the professionals. Being funny is not what you're good at, okay? Uh, I, I would even go as far as to say you're not that great of a voice actor. You have some g decent roles, but as a voice actor, you're just okay. So you should stick to just doing that and leave the comedy stuff to the re people who are actually good at it, okay? Instead of pushing your woke uh, politics on people and <laughs> you're trying to use comedy to do so. And, of course, he gets called out non-stop, and he just does not care. He says, uh, man, y'all see me point out something and people lose their minds. Let's all come down and clarify. Anti-V? No. Anti-Semitic? Ridiculous. Pro-freedom? Yep. When would you speak up? Here's an updated actual post on my actual Twitter. Hope this helps. Doubles down. Doesn't even apologize. He's clearly upsetting not only his fan base, I'm surprised he even has a fan base. <laughs> He's, he upsets his fan base and upsets people in general, especially people of um, Jewish community who are like, bruv, um, maybe this said joke is mm, in bad taste, mm, right? And then he goes on a very long rant about how he feels about um, people who don't get the Kovax. And like I said, he, not only does he double down on his trash, woke opinion, he triples down on it. <laughs> not a single apology in sight. And he probably thought, if I keep doing this, people are going to understand me. And maybe they'll understand. I want to apologize. Well, no, 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 sir. No, no, no. You had to apologize because people did not like what you had to say, bro. He added, after all, Holocaust took approximately 80 million people, including gays, gypsies, disabled, and anyone they deemed unclean. They did not start with the Jews before. Referencing reports that Australia's government has become forcibly moving infected individuals individuals to most newly established quarantine camps. <laughs> Bruv. Yes, we all make mistakes, right? But the problem is with you is you thought it was okay to keep on going with the bad joke. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to I just wanna know if people he works for, the anime companies that he works for would take action. Because in a small, I mean, I'm not saying they should. I mean, I'm just wondering if they will do it. Now, I don't think you should get fired for this. No, I think it's a little extreme. No, I think that as long as he apologizes and is a genuine apology and shuts his mouth, we're good. We're good. Um, but yeah, I don't think you should get fired. But I want to know if the company that he's working for does make a statement. I'm, I'm probably sure they won't. But anyway, let's get into the apology. I'm going to only play parts of it, okay? Uh, let's see. Get your volumes up, guys, if you want to hear the entire thing. Let me see if I can do this from here. You guys see some hundred. Oh, there you go. And let's go. Hey, guys. Spike Spencer here. Um, I wanted to make a public apology. Uh, absolutely. I was 100% wrong. 
It's just, it's just after doubling and tripling down on your stupid joke. Uh, I made what I thought was an easy joke, um, kind of snarky, you know, my dark sense of humor. And it was taken exactly the opposite in the way that I thought it would be. And uh, so I've had some talks with some friends. What's up with your hair, bro? What is that? What the hair fuck gel, is that? maybe? I'm, I'm, dude. And, uh, you know, I see that it was wrong. It has been taken out of context in many ways. And people are, uh, I've hurt some people. And I apologize to anybody that I possibly hurt. Um, it was. All right, so you guys heard that. The man actually apologized, and whether you guys think it's insincere or not, it's up to you to determine that. I'm just glad that he eventually apologized and realized, holy crap, I have jacked up royally, and maybe, just maybe, I should shut my mouth in regards to um, <laughs> political talk. <laughs> okay, Mr. Popular Voice Actor. <laughs> Anyway, what do you got thoughts on this? He 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 embarrassed himself for the world to see, and this should be a lesson for any other people who wants to use crazy jokes to push the the cof vax. I think it's crazy that he went to such extreme to do so, and um, I, I think I, I I don't think he should get canceled for it. But I do, I'm glad that, you know, with the backlash that came from the internet, he eventually apologized for it. But anyway, what do you guys thoughts on it? Do you guys think his apology was genuine or he's just full of shit? Let me know in the comment section um, what you guys think. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more pop culture news and lots of ranting. I will see you guys on the next episode. And also, please, please, I don't care if you're pro um, vax or anti vax, please don't be this guy. I am begging, don't be this guy. Peace.